I'm Dylan Marks, and uh, I'm here to speak with you about my, my encounter with the hammerhead shark. Dylan Marks, a catch and release fisherman, was kayaking a mile off the coast of Malibu when a 10-foot hammerhead shark took a chunk out of his foot. What happened to me was not an attack. Um, I, don't e I wouldn't even call what happened to me. Uh, it wasn't even a bite. That kayaker's close encounter with the shark bitten on the foot off the coast of Malibu. Paula, some terrifying moments on the beach here. Scary sight on the beach this Labor Day weekend. A shark attack victim on a stretcher. We launched from Deer Creek pretty early in the morning, watched the sunrise. We're fishing, you know, this El Nino has been incredible, so we've had all sorts of animals we rarely get to see. We got done fishing, we knew there were some sharks in the area. The first hammerhead came through um, and would check us out and kind of get, you know, hang around the perimeter and come through and just scope the scene. And another one, and, and by, by the end of it, we had three hammerheads around the, in the water around us. And then this big hammerhead kind of came in behind it, grabbed the bait, and then that's when sort of everything um, Went, I guess kind of went downhill. That's sort of what led to this. We got towed around by the shark for a little while and as we brought it up, um, I was pretty eager to, uh, to get the hook out of, out of its mouth and we were using a pretty long leader and I, I pulled it up by hand and um, I swung my legs around in the water so I could get my, my arms on the shark and kind of pull it up into my lap to get the hook out. And um, as I was trying to reach down for it and I had the line in my hand, um, this scared animal, this animal that I that I was, you know, put in this really precarious situation, um, was thrashing about and, and trying to get away. And, and, and while it was swimming with its mouth open, um, my foot got in the way. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a 10 foot long hammerhead shark came out and attacked him. I collided with this animal as it was spinning to swim away. It, it didn't, the shark didn't come at me. The shark at no point was swimming towards us. It was afraid and trying to, trying to, survive. The first time I got to see my family they said that this is in the media and they're saying that it was a shark attack and I instantly kind of grabbed the bed like let's get up and go talk to someone right now. Like there's someone needs to dispel this myth and so the next day I kind of got on the horn and, and tried to you know, got some some things together and, and met with some people and when I shared my story with them I was really excited because I got to share what had happened. I had opened my mouth and, 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 and what came out was like this chopped up version of, of what was important and it fit the same mold and it, fit, and it fit the same sort of cookie cutter, you know, like, oh, like, let's, let's make people afraid or, or this can be sensationalized. Um, let's, not, let's not actually go with the truth, let's go with what we want um, because this will sell and, and, and the truth won't. They took uh, me being reckless and, um, and then pointed, pointed a gun at, at sharks one more time. And the summer of the shark isn't over yet. As an ocean-going person, I surf, and anyone I come in contact with, who, who I get a chance to, I talk with about how to try to find ways to dispel those myths. And, um, and I ended up on the news um, being a part of the same problem without even, even having a chance to, to, to have my voice out there. I'm not fishing for sharks anymore. Uh, not because I'm afraid, but because I love and respect them. I would do anything to undo any, any fear or damage that I've done. I would do anything to go back and unhook that shark and never have put it in that position. If I, can, if I can be one less person to do harm, I can be one more person on the other side doing good, um, that, that's what I've learned from all this, is, is that, that I have some agency and I can make some change.